Hey folks, hope you're all well. So I'm up in northern BC this week. I've come up here for work for a couple of weeks and I've got a few days off. So I thought I'd head out on a bit of a camp. So I found up here in northern BC, it's, it's quite different to out at the, around the Rockies where I live. So kind of interesting, more deserty terrain. Um, in parts, so heading out to what looks like quite a nice canyon to see if I can find somewhere to camp, so we'll see how we go. So I guess the canyon will just be coming into view around this bend. all set up now and time to get a bit of dinner on so I'm gonna head down um, just beside the river there and get cooking So let me show you where we're at with dinner. I haven't been very reliable filming at all um, because it's getting a bit dark. Got a bit of pasta on there, just some penne. Chopped up some ham and mushrooms over there. And over there I've boiled up some chopped up yams. And then once I've fried up the mushrooms and ham, throw a bit of the um, pesto into there. And that is the pasta just about ready. 
This place did look like a nice bench for cooking. So I've got the thing set up on the rock. I've got a light over there so you can actually see a thing or two. However, it's just surrounded by rocks. It's just treacherous. So this is what not to do. So we've cooked everything up. What we're looking at is the pasta with the um, fried mushrooms and ham and yams. Then there's a dollop of pesto hidden under there. And if you're wondering why there's two dishes, they just didn't fit in one. And then a bit of parmesan on top. So I'm gonna give that a stir, quickly throw it back on the trangia. And then I think that should be pretty good. So it looks pretty good. But it tastes alright too. Hmm. Not bad at all, all things considered. May have gone a little heavy on the pesto, but still pretty good. So, packed up from dinner, back up at my tent. Um, just have the little challenge in that I've more or less run out of water. I do have some more in my car, but it is a little bit of a hike. So, I'm gonna have to do that hike. I'm not gonna go by, back by the riverway. Looking at the map, I think, think there's a route out by the hills. So, I think I'll just leave my camera and, and all the non-essentials here. Go and do that and come back with some water. Just following this track. It appears to be going the right way. The snow's coming down a little bit now. I'm not too worried at the moment. The, um, the drive back out is the main factor and just a little dusting won't affect that. If it, if it really starts to settle, I'll, um, I'll consider leaving early, but at the moment too concerned. Found this cellar. I thought it was a mine shaft at first, but I think it doesn't go very far in of an old homestead or something, but not the kind of place I feel like exploring right now. Successfully retrieved two bottles of water. Not much, but it'll do. So I didn't realize this on the way here, but this thing I walked across was a frozen creek. And as I came across last time, it gave a few, a few little crunching sounds that made me a little nervous. So, I'm gonna mess around getting back across here. Yep, that's that's all done. A bit easier navigating on the way back. You can just follow your own footprints. So it shouldn't be more than another 10 minutes or so to, to get back to my camp. Home sweet home. A little bit of snow collecting on it, but nothing too, too crazy just yet.
So it's only been about another half an hour or so and quite a bit of snow has come down, like not enough to cause any issues at this point, but I don't think I'm gonna sleep very well. Thinking about, thinking about whether I'll be able to get back up the hill or not. So I think I'm, I'm gonna have to pack up and get out of here and get up the hill while I'm still confident I can. Um, Cause I don't really want to get stuck out here. So all packed up and having to abandon camp, unfortunately. That's everything. And off we go somewhere in this direction. Yeah, the snow is just a bit too consistent for me to be comfortable hanging out here. So going to make an exit. Don't really relish the thought of getting stranded out here. So safely back in the car, about to take on the first hill out of here, which was the primary concern, but I think it hopefully hasn't snowed enough that it will cause any issues. But um, yeah, here we go. slippage yet which is nice and keep just need to keep my speed through this corner bit of a tight one. Oh yeah no problems at all no problems at all I think I think that's probably the worst of it So I made it up that hill, no worries at all. Um, I quite possibly could have stayed and the snow might not have amounted to much, but it wouldn't have been a very relaxing night's sleep thinking that I might be getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, so, so I'm happy that I'm, I've headed out. Um, I might wrap up that video there. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching, it didn't quite turn out quite as I'd planned, but it was a bit of fun anyway and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.